Alex has arranged to meet some poker players at a trendy bar, inviting them to play in a private game he's organised for later this evening. Paul is playing the role of another player invited to the game and takes a seat inside whilst Alex keeps an eye out for the mark. And here he is, right on time. Hello, how are you doing? You are right? One of the guys is here. Alex brings the mark and his mate in to meet Paul, then leaves them alone to get to know each other. How are you, Nick? Sorting stuff down to the table and everything. We should be ready to go soon. Uh, All right. Okay. 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 Oh, Where did you boys play? In the Vic, yeah? Yeah, that's why you play, yeah. yeah. I've been there in ages. You into poker? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know the poker magazine guy's coming tonight. You know about this guy? This guy coming from a new, uh, a new poker magazine who's doing an article on, I guess, private games, stuff like that. It's a new magazine, it's called Poker Something, I can't remember what. I mean, it's brand new, literally brand new. Paul is being a little vague, almost as if he's making it up on the spot. So when you play, do you play any side games or any side bets or anything like that when you're... Do you... Right. Would you play Kaluki or Backgammon or anything like that? I just love games. Really? Especially when they're, they're probably for the games. That's music to Paul's ears. This guy that's coming in, we're actually going to do an article about that kind of thing, about games you can win. I'm going to show him Nim before we play tonight. You ever heard of Nim? You do it with straws, you can do it with matchsticks. It doesn't matter, but you can only take one, two or three. And whoever's left with the last one is the loser. <laughs> for the first part of the scam, Paul needs to persuade the mark to do him a favour. He wants to play a trick on the poker journalist that's about to arrive by challenging him to a game he's guaranteed to lose. The thing is that if you know the secret, you can always win. Yeah. If I have him bet with you, would you bet against him? What, knowing that? Knowing that I'm going to win. So in other words, I'm playing for you. If you're guaranteed, it, yeah. All right. I need you to sneak a bottle cap onto the table when he's not looking. You'll get the idea. When he comes in, it's just easier if someone else does it. The mark agrees to help Paul play a trick on the journalist. And here he is. It's Colin. You Rob? I'm Rob. Oh, sorry. Nice to see you. Colin? Yeah. Hello, mate. I'm Nick. Nick, how you doing? Well, Alex, who's posing as a member of staff for the bar, brings a box full of bottle caps for their game of Nim. That's fine, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I brought this thing to show you. All you have to do is take one, two, or three caps. Aye. Whoever ends up with the last cap is the loser. Aye. All right? So here's the idea. I'll play against you, but uh, you can bet against one of these guys. I'll bet with you. All right. OK. It's a simple game. Each player takes a turn removing one, two, or three caps. The player to take the last cap <laughs> loses. And sure enough, Paul wins. I believe that's yours. OK. So that means you owe him a turn. Right, OK. The exact number of caps mean Paul will always be able to leave one behind if Colin goes first. You go first. I go first. I, 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 I. But this time, Paul goes first. Now he'll lose unless the mark adds that extra bottle top. Right. And I can take from any picture jacket up, though. Colin pretends to be distracted, giving the mark the perfect opportunity. I'll take from over here. Okay. First one. <laughs> and Colin loses again. Um, Paul comes clean about the little scam. When you were looking away... Oh, you dirty dog. He snuck in an extra one. <laughs> When he puts an extra one in, I just take that one away. Brilliant. So you're still going first. That's brilliant. This whole scenario has been carefully crafted to suck the mark in. He's demonstrated he's willing to play a prank by cheating. And he's been rewarded by making money on the bets. Colin's now going to ask him to cheat See? in a slightly bigger way. This is, this is an interesting one because the article after the game is meant to be written from the point of view of how the game could have been cheated. Cheated? Yeah, we're doing a whole issue on like what you need to watch out for when you're playing. I'm cheating it as in you've got cards up your sleeve, like? Yeah, stuff like that, you know, I mean, cheat, you know, dealing off the that bottom. Still happens, uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Really? Okay, I have, a, I have a proposition for you, right? Let's cheat the game properly and I'll cover the boys who lose. What do you mean, you? So, to, right, if I could actually interview people who were in on cheating the people out of money, 
but I guarantee the people who lose money, I give them all their money back tomorrow. And you two keep what you win. I just think that's, yeah, that's you know, awesome I mean, to be involved in, and you can be talking about being in on it. As long as they get their money back. No, what, not, what do you mean to get their money back? They get the star in the new magazine. <laughs> it's perfect. So, the game will be rigged in the Mark's favour for the article. He can keep the winnings, and Colin will reimburse the losers. Who's going to win? One, two, three, four, or five? Paul demonstrates how he can control the cards whenever it's his deal. That's hand three, right? Yeah. Okay. Holy <laughs> should usually win. It's one of those things that looks easy, and if I did them, I hit you in the hit you in the face with the cards and I tried it. Yeah. Must have taken some practice. It's easy to give you the ace if it never moves from the top. Yeah, look. It's easy to just keep dealing. Yeah. But will the mark go for it? Look, well, I'll give it a go. The thing is, I'm only cheating when I'm dealing. Okay, I'm not going to cheat on anyone else's deal. That's important. Yeah. The hustlers lead the mark downstairs to a private room for the game. This guy is already an experienced poker player, and with Paul's card manipulation guaranteeing him good hands, he's in for a great game. What could possibly go wrong? I can't be that unlucky. I'll wait to him. No way! Dude. I was meant to bring out the other one. And once the mark had been separated from the box... Yeah, purely my fault. Paul loaded it into the waiting hustle van. You've got to pick up both these paper clips with the rubber bands. But you can't touch the paper clips. You can only touch the rubber band. You can put the paper clips anywhere.